Okay, so today we are going to talk about what you can do with your Facebook page that we created for your local. So in your home page, on the left hand side, you're going to go ahead and click on the link to your local page that you made last time. And here we are on the home page for the local. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is post some content. So we already posted this one thank you for liking our page and then an image so the top three tips I have for posting content to your Facebook page um, are one keep it short and simple nobody wants to read uh, for more than a minute at the very most so you don't want them to have to click to read more I would say three short paragraphs at the very most you want it to be in the order of problem solution ask so you identify what the problem is you identify how to solve that problem and then you ask them to take an action to help you solve that problem okay so uh, if you were going to post a photo let's try doing that really quick upload photos choose file um, and I'm going to choose this picture of the food drive we did at our convention so the problem is people in Duluth are hungry. The solution is donate to food shelves. And the ask is please contribute to our chum food drive this month. This is actually a lot shorter than what I would normally do. You could do definitely a couple sentences in there that are a little more fleshed out, but just for the sake of time, you definitely want things to be in that order. And then we have the picture at the end. We're going to go ahead and click post. And so here we have this beautiful little post that came up here, and hopefully people are going to like it. So they're going to click like maybe they will post some comments they'll say yay I was there that day and maybe they will share it which is always great the sharing is the best way to get your message across so you're just gonna share um, okay so one other thing I wanted to talk about is uh, sharing content as a page so you're gonna go back to your home page or let's say you're following AFSCME Council 5 as an individual. We want to make sure that you are also following our Council 5 page as your page. So we're going to go over to like, like as your page. I already selected it but here it would say AFSCME Local 89. I'm going to just like it as another page that I manage. Okay, so now let's say you wanted to share some content from the Council 5 Facebook page. Let's say we are going to share this, sign the petition to raise the wage. So we're going to click share. And then we're going to write something, whatever you want to say, this is very important. Please sign this petition to tell Minnesota legislators to you can use hashtags on Facebook so we're gonna go ahead and do that then we're gonna share the link on the page you manage ask me council 5 local 89 share link okay so we're back on the council 5 local 89 page and you can see here that the content that we shared from the Council 5 page has shown up on our own timeline. So hopefully um, if we all build Facebook pages for our locals and connect them to the Council 5 page, we'll be able to communicate across locals and help hopefully spread our message even further through social media. Uh, if you have any questions about this tutorial, please feel free to email me, trishaharms at afsmemn.org, uh, and I'll be posting another tutorial shortly. Thanks for watching.